Hey guys, welcome back to Bruno's Math Club. Today's topic is decimal to fraction conversion. In our previous video, we talked about converting a fraction to a decimal. Well, this is pretty much the opposite thing because first you'll have a decimal and you will be learning how to convert that decimal number into a fraction. So let's get started. Now, the main thing that you need to know in order to convert a decimal into a fraction is your decimal place values. Now, what are decimal place values? Those are just the place values that the numbers hold in decimals, okay? So I'm just going to list an example of a decimal number and I'm going to label that with its place value so that you have a good idea of what decimal place values are. So let's say I have the decimal number 0.725, okay? Now, remember that the first digit from the decimal point, which means to the right of the decimal point, is in the tenths place value. Now, why don't we start with ones? Because in decimal place values, there is no such thing as the place value of ones. So you have to start with tenths. And notice that the tenths is going to have a th at the end. So that represents decimal place value. So that means 7 is in the tenths place value, which is the same thing as 7 over 10. Then the second digit, which is 2, is in the hundredths place value. So that means it holds the value of hundredths, or also known as 2 over 100. And now the last digit in this case is 5, and that is the third digit from the decimal point. So that means it holds the place value of thousands. So that means 7 is in the tenths place, or 7 over 10, 2 is in the hundredths place, or 2 over 100, and 5 is in the thousandths place, or 5 or 1,000. Now in this case, it only goes up to a thousandths, but it can even go further into ten thousandths and hundred thousandths. But usually in sixth grade, you only are uh, go up to like thousandths or maybe ten thousandths, okay? So this is just an example to show you what the place values are. And now that you have a good idea of what the decimal place values are, let's go on to our problem, okay? So today I'm going to be using the decimal number 0.56. The first step in converting this into a fraction is to label this with its place values. The number 5, which is the number right after a decimal number, is going to be in the tenths place. And the second digit, which is 6 in this um, case, is going to be the hundredths, okay, digit, I'm sorry, place value. So that means 5 is in the tenths place value, or 5 over 10, and 6 is in the hundredths place value, or 6 over 100. That means now that we have our place values um, labeled, now what you need to do is that you need to um, focus on the last digit in the decimal number, which in this case is 6. Now you need to see what place value is the 6 in? Now we have we already know that 6 in the is in the hundredths place value. That means 0.56 can also be pronounced as 0.56 or 56 hundredths. Okay? And that is why you, when you're converting this, your fraction is going to have a denominator of 100. And reason being is that 56 is, has hundredths place value. So 56 is also known as 56 hundredths. So that's why your denominator is going to be a 100. Now, in order to find your numerator, you need to see how many hundredths do you have. Well, we know that we have the number 56. That means we have 56 hundredths, right? Because when we pronounce it, we say 56 hundredths. So that means we have 56 hundredths. So that means your numerator is going to be 56. So that means we now have our fraction, so 56 hundredths converted into a fraction is 56 over 100. Now always remember that it is important to reduce or simplify your fraction. So if we divide this, so 56 divided by 2 and 100 divided by 2, we get 28 over 50. And now if you can um, break this apart further, and so if you divide it by 2 again, we will get 14 over 25 because 20 divided by 2 is 14 and 50 over, divided by 2 is 25. And that is the farthest we can break this into. That means the decimal number 0.56 converted into a fraction equals 14 over 25. So that's that for decimal to fraction conversion. Now, I hope you guys understood this topic. Now, you can visit our blog at brosismacup.com for extra practice problems on this topic and also further coming up topics. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.